In this video, we're going to look at how we can graph some linear relations. So here we've got a table of values. I've got some x values here, 1, 2, 3, up to 6, and some y values that start at 3, and go 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So supposedly this is a linear relation. Let's check. If it's a linear relation, we should be going up by the same amount here each time. And that's true. These all go up by 1. Now let's see if these go up by the same amount each time. These are going up by 2. The first ones go up by 2. This goes up by 2. This goes up by 2. This goes up by 2. And this goes up by 2. So we definitely have a re linear relation here. Um, because the x values increase by the same amount. And the y values all increase by the same amount. So let's draw a graph. So remember on the horizontal axis is where we would plot this top row, x, and the vertical axis is where we would plot the second row, which is y. So I need to put a scale on here. So these are just going up by 1. So we'll start here at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six and my y values will start here at zero and um, they're going up by three so maybe what I will do is go three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one so when x is one y is 3. I would have a dot right here. Now, when x is 2, y is 5. So, this if this is 3, then you can imagine this line here would be about 4, this would be about 5, and this would be about 6. So, 5 would be right about here. When x is 3, y is 7. So, this is 6 here. So, this line would be 7. Here would be an 8. Here, here's the 9. So, 7 would be right here. When x is 4, I need to go up to 9, so here we go. When x is 5, I need to go up to 11, here's 9, so this would be 10, this would be 11, this would be 12. And finally, when x is 6, so y would be 13, here's 12, there would be 13, there would be 14, and this line represents 15. So I would have these dots right here, I represent the um, graph or the uh, of this linear relation um, and we can see that the points do lie in a straight line so we have graphed this correctly now we could ask some questions like what is the relationship between x and y and we could say as x increases by one y is increasing by two um, and that would represent our, our linear relation. We could say, okay, now what would be the value of y when x is, let's say, 9? Well, we could continue our table of values here. So 6, 7, 8, 9. And down here, our pattern would be, we're adding 2 every time. So this would be 15, 17, 19. So on this graph, if we were plotting it, 9 would be up here around 19, which would be right about here. This line is 18, so there's 19, 20, 21. So there's one example on how we can create a graph from a table of values. Here I have a couple of relations. Let's see if we can find out which one is linear and which one is not. I made one linear and I made one not linear. So let's check this here. So in X here, everything seems to be going up by two. So it goes up by two, goes up by two, goes up by two. Whoa, this only goes up by one. So this one is not going to be linear. And here, this goes up by five, up by 5, and again, the pattern breaks here. So even if you just look at these first 
four numbers here. Goes up by two, goes up by two, goes up by two. Goes up by five, goes up by five, goes up by two. So these are not, this is not a linear relation. Um, because here x increases by two for the first three, that's fine. But here it increases by five for the first two, but then only by two for the next one. So they need to increase by the same amount uh, for all the values of x, and then by the same amount for all the values of y. Looking at this one here, we're going up by 3, going up by 3, going up by 3, going up by 3. So that so far is good, but the y has to go up by the same amount each time too. So it looks like here they start by going up by 2. These will all have to go up by 2, and they do. So this one we call a linear relation. This one is a non linear relation. And if we were to graph this, these points would lie in a straight line. If we were to graph these ones, these points would not lie in a straight line. They might do kind of a jagged thing like so, but definitely not going to be in a straight line. All right, in this last example here, we got a table of values. And um, we've got four questions that we're going to do with this. We're going to first of all graph the linear relation. Then we're going to write down what the relationship is between x and y. Then we're going to come up with an expression for y in terms of x. And then we'll, we can answer the question, if x is 8, what would y be? So let's start by graphing the linear relation. So I am going to draw a graph. All right. So on this axis, we have y and on this axis we have x. My x values start at 0 and go up by 1. And my y values start at 0 as well and go up by 4. So I'm going to go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and so on. Now I'm going to plot my points. My first point is 0, 0, so there's a dot there. My next point would be 1, 4. There's a dot there. Then x is 2, y is 8, dot here. 3 and 12, 4 and 16, 5 and 20. So remember when you're doing a graph, if we decide on our axes that we're going to go up by 1 each time for x, we've got to continue that. We don't have to necessarily go up by 1 on the y, and in this case I chose to go up by 4, but if I start by going up by 4, I've got to continue to go up by 4 every time on my y-axis. Otherwise our graph is not, not representative of the data. So I've got my graph here. Here we go. So we've graphed the linear relation. I've got x here, i got y here, and I've plotted the points. So now we've got to see what is the relationship between x and y. Well, either you can look at your graph or you can look at the table here. So I can see that as I go up by 1 each time on x, y appears to be going up by 4, and so on. So I can say then that as x increases by 1, y increases by 4. That's the relationship between x and y. Now what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to come up with an expression for y in terms of x. So that means we're going to write y, we're going to come up with an equation here. Y is equal, how do we get the y values? How do we get these numbers here from these numbers here? Well, let's look at the pattern. 0 is 0, 1 is, becomes 4, 2 becomes an 8, 3 becomes a 12, 4 becomes a 16, 5 becomes a 20. It looks to me like these numbers here, these numbers in the y column, are the same as the x ones if you times them by 4. So 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 4 is 16, 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 4 is 8, and so on. So it looks like my equation would be this. y values are equal to 4 times the x values. So this would be an expression for y in terms of x. y is equal to 4 times x. So now, if y is equal to 4 times x, and if x is 8, what would y be? Well, y is equal to 4 times the x value, so if x is 8, 
then y is 8 times 4, which would be 32. And we could, we could also generate that if we wanted to by keeping our pattern going here. So 6, add 4 is 24, 7, add 4 is 28, 8, and add 4 is 32. Or we could keep our graph going as well. So here's 7, the next point would be 8, and y would be 32. So there's a relationship between the table of values, which is what this is, and over here is our graph, and now over here is our equation. And they're all actually representing the same thing, the relationship between x and y.